This week, one of the giants in the NFL coaching circles, and no, I'm not talking about the New York Giants, is heading in another direction after nearly a quarter of a century with the New England Patriots. Hi, everybody. I'm Patricia Chena, host of the Locked on Giants podcast, and I'm, of course, talking about Bill Belichick, the future Hall of Fame head coach who is currently chasing the all-time regular and postseason win total record held by legendary Dolphins head coach Don Shula. And as probably is well known by now, Bill Belichick and the New York Giants have quite the history together. Belichick rose through the coaching ranks, literally starting at the bottom once he arrived in East Rutherford in 1979 as a member of Ray Perkins's staff before working his way up the ladder to defensive coordinator for the big blue wrecking crew defense that was such a force in the 1980s. That defense was instrumental in contributing to two Super Bowl championships, Super Bowl 21 and Super Bowl 25. Belichick, known for his crafty out-of-the-box game plans, took that with him to New England, where he crafted some of the best defenses based on his philosophies. But ironically, the memory that probably will stand out most to Giant fans and those of us who cover the Giants was how quarterback Eli Manning and the Giants offense were able to get the best of Belichick and the Patriots in Super Bowls 42, in which the Patriots' quest for a perfect season was ruined in that game, and Super Bowl 46. Now, some might say that Belichick might have secretly been happy for his old team, thinking that if he was going to lose in those games, better to lose to the Giants than to any other NFC opponent. We'll never know for sure what the crafty Belichick thought. But one thing we do know is that it's a sad day in New England and the end of a glorious era in which a one-time low-level NFL assistant wrote his ticket to the Hall of Fame by staying true to himself, working hard, and sticking to his principles and building a winning program. 